last of the night. So, do you know what I'm just thinking? I haven't got my lollipop sticks. Okay, okay. I'll get you some. You better go and get them. <laughs> um, I'm ha I was just about to say, I'm, do you know whether I'm half organised or full organised? And then the waxing sticks just went through me, through me brain there. But listen, I have a fun class anyway set up. I think I have a fun class set up. I think you're going to enjoy it. So what I'd like you to do is to get the notifications out there people to join us is start interacting with us okay so how you can do that comment underneath let us know your name let us know where you're watching in from and again let us know what's the weather like because I have to say it's been really really mild here today I think it was up to 11 degrees at one stage so we came in this morning turned on the heat and full blast as we have been doing for the last couple of weeks here and then we had a tropical moment and then we had a tropical moment exactly we didn't know whether it was the flushes or the sweats or whether it was degrees but here we see it open the doors open the windows it was just mad so how's everybody keeping and um, everybody seemed to enjoy last wednesday's um live class and i know when i was making the one last wednesday because i have i actually still have it here somebody said to me what are you going to do with that arrangement and i said it's probably just going to be left in one of the rooms but um, when I worked on the arrangement last week with the lilies, the lilies were all quite tight. And I said, but the whole idea is that the, ple the, the person who gets the arrangement um, as a gift, um, they get the pleasure of watching it open. So hold on a second and I'll show you. So that is last week's arrangement. So that is the lilies there all open. There's our red roses there at the side. Now I know it was pretty cold last week, but it just shows you like how long them arrangements last once you keep them well watered. So like we would have topped up that container with water, kept it in a cool room, do you know that way? And that was all, other than that was basically neglected. So that was the last week's arrangement, what it looks like. That doesn't always happen that we can show you, you know what I mean, for the previous No, week. they usually go to a good home. Yeah, you know we do, but just we were busy this week. So what am I planning to use tonight? Okay? Now hang on a second, before okay. you do, Facebook is very quiet. Okay. We need a few more people to share us over there on Facebook and get Click the word. The share, share it to your page, tag someone who you know that likes flowers and like let's get the word out there. Otherwise it's a little bit pointless me doing this class. Isn't yeah, it? I think we I might just lock up and go home, will we'll we? Just pack up and go home and get me dinner, I will. So during the week, um, O'Neill's flowers up in Carlingford, County Loud, they sent out these fabulous hat boxes, okay? And you know, I've lost the bag. They did come in a bag and all the information was on the bag with the price and all the other colours that they come in. So if Ellen or any of the staff from O'Neill's is watching, please feel free to put any of the links in the comments there below. And um, anybody that's watching that wants to buy these hat boxes, they can buy them direct. For anybody new that's watching, you can buy this material direct from O'Neill's at a wholesale price. So basically it's a set of hat boxes. So that's the larger one. This is what the medium one looks like and there's a smaller one inside it, okay? So that's our medium one. And I'll just check if there's another one inside, I don't think so, no. So that's the smaller one there. So the set of boxes, and you know what? I can't remember whether it was 15 or 18 euros. I'm completely lost. As I said, I, I think it was look 20. At, I think I it was remember. 20. But I genuinely can't remember. So you'll have to look it up on their website. If somebody watching there can tag O'Neill's Flowers, okay, for me, and at least then one of the staff there will get the message and they can maybe come online there and put the link up for the hat boxes. But otherwise, just find O'Neill's Flowers, .ie, their website, and you'll be able to get all the details. And if you use our discount code KAYSFS, Somebody put that in the comments for me as well. You'll get a 5% discount. Okay, so we Francis is watching in from County Mayo this evening. Hey, Francis, we have Ant Antui is watching in from sunny Spain. Uh. <laughs> Don't be making us Don't jealous. Making us all jealous. Is that Anne, um, room, room junkie, junkie. Anne. Yeah, we'll talk about her in a little yeah. while. Um, somebody was talking. Oh, um, chapter two is, is watching hey, in. Matthew, um, Matthew is watching in. Uh, somebody was watching in there um, and they were saying that there was a light snow on the ground, but I think oh. they were outside Ireland. Ireland. Um, Debbie from Wicklow is watching on. Tina hey, from Bally Fermis is watching on. Geraldine Dennessy is watching on. So oh. we've um, we right. loads of people watching. So I need to use all the regulars. You just know about the tagging. So these hat boxes are plastic lined, so you can get your wet foam and you can pull it directly down into the hat boxes. But what I find with them, they are actually quite deep. So it means they'd be a ton weight and it would take up a lot of floral foam to fill them up. So what I've done 
is you can either use styrofoam, you know that white stuff, if you go into like maybe, I'm going to say electrical shops like DID Electric, you know where when they get in the washing machines and the cookers, all that white packaging, we used to call it aeroboard when we were kids, but I think the right name for it is styrofoam. So you could get a big lump of styrofoam and you can place it in the end of the hat box. But I just wanted to show you where you could also use some dry floral foam. So that's the dry floral foam. Or again, if you want to be more sustainable, you can use like some agro wool. So I've used both, okay? And then what I'm going to use is a bulb bowl. So my bulb bowl will actually hold the water and I have the floral foam then sitting inside it. So that way then I can get the floral foam to come up over the top of the hat box just a little bit. And then I'm going to get my anchor tape. Now if anybody has any questions at all, put them in the comments, okay? So then I'm going to get my anchor tape and I'm going to strap it in. There we go, nice and secure. I'm going to trim that back a little bit. We have Flower Love is watching in from the United Arab Emirates oh, this evening. Nice. So I don't know what the time is. Forget me not if it's watching in from the pool in Orlando in Florida. Oh, They're really rubbing it in now. They're yeah. definitely making us jealous here. Very Anybody nice. else watching from sunny sunny places in the world, don't please? Don't bother telling us. <laughs> <laughs> no, do. Do, do. You're only making us jealous. <laughs> if you could book us like maybe a one-way ticket. Yeah, one-way ticket. Picture. We can go over and do a demonstration exactly. over there. Exactly. So there we are, we're strapped in, and just to give it an extra little bit of security, either off cuts of either your agri wool, I'm just kind of like wedging them in around the outside. Oh, and Neil's flares have just joined us over right. on can put up the Instagram. Link. Um, I know you sent all the prices for the hat box, lovely plastic bag, and all the rest. But for once in my life, I actually cleaned up after myself today and God knows where the plastic bag went. And I know these boxes came in different colours. I absolutely adored the navy one, by the way. But I think you said that you had them in red and green. Oh, do you ever spend a piece of paper? I must have only half cleaned the floor. <laughs> okay, here we go. Thanks a million. So it's 20 euros for the set of three. They're called Hamilton hat boxes and they're available in pink green, light blue, yellow, red and navy. So basically for your boys and your girls, your baby boys, baby girls, you have your pinks and your, and your blues. For Patrick's Day, you have your greens. For Valentine's Day, you have your red. For Easter, you have your yellow and the navy and the light blue. Well, the light, light blue we've already said. So the navy then, I just think it looks, it was a nice luxurious colour. It okay? is actually, it's sort of a bit so, as well. Yeah. And um, Jardine is saying it's agri wool used for fresh flowers. Yeah, it can. And if you go to our blog page, at, um, Jardine, I have a whole blog done on agri wool and there's some demonstration classes of making a large arrangement and a small arrangement in agri wool using dried flowers, silk flowers and fresh flowers. And I also have, um, what would you call it, like a comparison test, you yeah. know, that way, where I kind of showed the benefits and the advantages and disadvantages of using agro wool. Obviously, all in my personal opinion. So you'll find that on our website, www.kstarskill.com and the blog button. And maybe if Celine is watching, she might put the link up for me. Now, this is a bunch of uh, white, kind of like contorted willow, uh, twisted birch twigs that I bought in from uh, Wicklow Foliage Farm. So somebody might tag them in the comments. Now maybe O'Neill's Flower sells these as well. Last week I used these in red, but they were about double the height, okay? These are much shorter ones and they were half the price. And they're, they're very reasonably priced for that size bunch. And that's all I'm going to need out of the bunch tonight. I think so, I think that's all I need. Um, what else am I going to use? I'm going to use a couple of fatty leaves from the garden and I purposely picked different sizes. So you can see I have smaller ones, you know, medium ones and larger ones. So they're all from my own garden. I have them wired and I'm going to demonstrate how I wired them for anybody that missed it last week. I also sprayed them with the leaf shine and I know O'Neill's Flowers has this for sale, but so has wholesaleflowers.ie and so has Evergreen Silk Plants in RD. So again, anybody watching, please tag the companies that I'm mentioning for any that wants to um, purchase it. I'm also going to use, last week I used the cordyline leaves, okay, and Deirdre also brought me in some of the kind of like variegated ones, but just for a change this week, because I'm going to use some wine and white flowers tonight, she brought me in the euphormium or the flax, I think New Zealand flax might be the name for it, this is really easy to grow, and I know last week I was kind of shown where you could make bear grass out of the cordyline leaves, now obviously it's not bear grass, but the effect of bear grass, you know that way, where you can just like rip it with your fingers, like with your fingernails basically, and you can make all these skinny little grasses. So I did demonstrate this last week using the cordyline leaf, and again, that's kind of showing you there with the flax leaf, and I can just kind of cut off the wrong ends, and I can place the wire around the 
they weren't cut it, just to kind of hold them all together and you could use that in the arrangement if you wanted. But what I did was I rolled them over using the stapler. Now again, I'm only going to do the one tonight because I did show this last week. So basically I just rolled it over, making a curl, got my stapler, placed it inside the leaf and I put two staples in it, one high, one low, just to hold it in place. And then I just gave it a little dab of the leaf shine just to make it shinier. So I have a few of them done. The fatty leaves, I wired them in advance. That one has a few holes. That's a holy one, a black one. Okay, so with the fatty leaf, is look at the back of the fatty leaf. It's like your fingers, like your hand, okay? And look for the one that's as close to the middle as you possibly can get. So even though this leaf is crooked, you can see that would be as close to the middle as you can possibly get. And around two to three inches from the top of the stem, okay, so up about here, you're going to get a, either a 22 or a 20 gauge wire. You're going to make what I call a little stitch. So go in one side of the main vein and out the other side and bring your wire halfway approximately. Place your thumb on what I call the stitch. Pull the two pieces of wire down at the same time. That's important, okay? Grip it down here at the bottom and then wrap one wire around the stem and around the piece of wire. The advantage of doing that is I can mould or manoeuvre the leaves to go in the direction that I want to. And again, I can lash a little bit of leaf shine onto them as and well. And Jeanette, talking of fatty leaves, I was talking to Linda in Rock Barton Garden okay. Centre. So if anybody is can tag Rock Barton Garden Centre. I asked her about the fatsia leaf plants. I asked her about Silver Sussex plants. And I asked her about the yeah, Ruskus plants. plants. So she says that she can get in the fatsia and the Silver Sussex, no problem. She says she's going to research where she can get the Ruskus. Um, and that if anybody is interested, just contact her directly. So, she's absolutely oh, lovely. she's And you know what? She's, if you're into gardening, she's a garden club. She has a fabulous page and is always giving out great tips on planting and gardening and stuff like that. So, so Rock Barton Garden, garden Centre. Yeah, I actually I, don't know where it is. I haven't a clue where it is. I, I actually mean, no, I don't you know, know where, know where it is. I just follow her on Instagram, yeah. And I know like last year when we were using a lot of the Silver Sussex, all the students were able, or all the followers were able to buy it from them. And she just posts it anywhere. It doesn't matter where you are in Ireland, she can post it. So last week I used um, the Italian Ruskus. And as I said to you, it's a great long lasting foliage. It lasts for ages. It lasts for ages out of water. Brilliant for doing garlands along your table without using floral foam or anything. Like Deirdre used this at Christmas time. It's just amazing it is. And I said, like, it is difficult to buy as a plant. I know Rock Barton Garden Centre is going to do a bit of research. And again, if we have any other garden centres, like O'Neill's is a garden centre as well. So maybe they might do a little bit of research as well and see, can you buy them in as plants? Now, I did say to you that the plants we had, okay, were ones that we got from Irish Green Guys. But he doesn't sell them as plants, okay? He normally, he was planting it there about three or four years ago to sell the foliage. Now, I'd say his is still quite sm small because ours are still quite small. Now, he's probably a better grower than we are. <laughs> but, 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 the good news is, last week, Irish Green Guys are now, it's not their own yet, but they now have a source, I suppose, or a grower. And they're now selling Ruskus, okay? So you'll be able to buy Ruskus from Irish Green Guys. So again, that's someone else to tag there in the comments for me. So when people are asking, where did you get this? Where did you get that? You'll find all the information in the comments below. So I'm going to use a bit of that later on for filling in. Um, do you know what I forgot to bring in, Deirdre? The third, I left put two thirds of a floral foam um, soak in there for myself. I told, I warned just before I started, I'm a little bit disorganised tonight. Okay. So, and I need to sell the dispenser when she goes back. It's on the table, and I'm probably looking at it. Oh, yeah, there you go. She has it hidden there from me. Right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get two of my lollipop sticks, and I'm going to sell a tape um, the lollipop sticks onto the front. Now, I know you might say, God, that's going to be shown. It won't be shown because I'm going to hide it, okay? So, I'm putting the two of them on. So, I'm using two separate pieces of sellotape and then an extra one or two pieces just to make sure that it's nice and secure, okay? So, you can always do this in advance. Also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to point the ends of the lollipop sticks into a nice sharp point, okay? Because that will make it easier for me to insert it into the floral foam. So, you can organise that in advance. And when I go to the right or the left, I'm going to go to my left as I look at it. Okay? And as we're looking at it, we're looking at the back of it in case okay, you can see. Okay, you're looking at the back, okay? So this is what it looks like so far, right? Now, I'm going to push that to one side because this is kind of a little bit different. 
So this is two thirds of a block of floral foam, and I'm going to cut it into one third. Are you going to pass me a turn table? Oh, yeah, yeah. I told you, I'm all over the place today. I drove back from Sligo yesterday, and I tell you, I was absolutely wrecked, I was, and um, I think I'm still catching up today. So what I'm now going to do with that third of a block of floral foam is I'm going to cut a bit off, I don't know what measurement you'd call this, but I'm trying to make what I'm left with look like a square or a cube, okay? So do you remember the Rub Rubik's cube, okay? That was it. So Jesus there we are. So there is my Rubik's cube, right? So whatever size you want to cut, that was a third of a block of floral foam and I cut a bit off just to make it into a, a square kind of cube shape. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the four corners of the cube. I'm now going to turn it on the side that way and I'm now going to pair these sides off. So what I'm actually trying to do is make a kind of a circle or a sphere, S-P-H-E-R-E. -E. So a roundy ball sort of a shape, okay? So I'm kind of like trimming that off there. And then I'm just going to pretend I'm doing liposuction on my arse, <laughs> cut the fat off and make this a little bit more roundy and smooth looking and give myself a nice bum shape, okay? So I'm just pretending I'm peeling potatoes, if you've seen the way I peel potatoes, and I'm just kind of like turning it into a kind of a, a ball shape. And that's how easy it is to make a ball shape instead of having to go and buy them, do you know the way? Because they work out quite expensive. Now what I have then is some large carnations. Haven't a clue how many I have, okay? So as I cut them up, I find out how many I have. Sorry, there, there you go. You grab them there as well. So I'm going to cut these up. So let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oopsie daisies, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so about 15 of them, okay? I might have to cut an odd one a little bit shorter, right? So I'm now going to cover that ball shape, not all of it because it's going to be one-sided, but I'm going to cover them with the large carnations. And I'm pushing the large carnations directly down into the ball shape, right? So if there's a little knot, okay, on your large carnation, make sure you cut the little knot off that the knot is, is not kind of being inserted into the floral foam first. So what I did was I'm putting one in the middle, but it doesn't matter because it's a ball shape, so the middle can be anywhere, right? So I've one in the middle, and I'm now going to work around that middle one, and it'll take about six or seven flowers, okay? I'm on five so far, I'm getting six in, and there's my seven. And just one, while okay? you're doing that, Jeanette, well, little, little Flower Gifts wants to know whether the video stay on the page, what she's having Wi-Fi problems. If you share it to your own page, it will, okay? And she's watching on Instagram, so it will be on Instagram, it's on YouTube, and it's on Facebook, so, and it's, oh, oh, I didn't actually forgot to go on TikTok. Oh, oh yeah. I didn't go on TikTok tonight. Oh, well, there you so go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around that again, can you see, with another row of flowers, right? As far as I can. So try and get that one in a little bit more. So can you see the effect what I'm doing? Now, you could do, somebody's going to say what other flowers could you do it in? You could do it in roses, but it's obviously going to cost a fortune. You could do it in chrysanthemums, but it's going to be a bit kind of like flat looking. Do you know that way? So just go as far as you possibly can. Now, what I'm now going to do, so this is just going to have to go into the there is, she actually is a bin here for the change, you know, like a real bin. So um, I'm going to dry it before I put the hat box up on it. So I do have my kitchen roll. So we dry off this a little bit. Because obviously the hat box is cardboard. So I'm going to place this ball of flowers, okay? It's a half a ball, right? In front of the lid where the lollipop sticks are. So I'm going to use another lollipop stick, okay? So I'm going to cut that in a point at the top and also at the bottom. And then I'm going to get my ball shape, okay? So I'm going to decide like what way I want it to go. And then I'll decide where I'm going to place the lollipop stick up into the floral foam. And then I'm going to place that lollipop stick down into the oasis to kind of give the effect. So this is what it looks like. Can you see so far? Jeanette, are you designing this at the moment? I'm making this up as I go along. <laughs> and I definitely am because I tell you, I'm all over the place today, I am. <laughs> You're lucky I had my face washed. You know one of them days, if you seen me this morning, and I, it was all planned, I used to go live in the bloom rooms with the <laughs> students this morning, and Deirdre came, came, called to collect me. She always parks the car outside my house, and we walk over to work. And I did go to the gym this morning, and I came home from the gym, and I tell you, I hadn't the energy to take me take the gym gear off or have a shower or whatever. And she came in and she says, Jesus, look at the state of you. And I says, I know. I said, I says, will you do the bloom rooms this morning? So I was in the background. So I'm sitting in here at the school today, or this morning, nine o'clock. And next of all, dear, just saying, oh, a big welcome to the module one bloom room. And she's off there on a roll, rambling away. And then I hear, 
Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I'm in the wrong room, she said. And she was actually on the case Blair School page instead of being in the blue room. And I was laughing at up till earlier on today. There was something like 80 comments on it. Some people had even shared it. You know that way. And like the amount of people said, oh, my God, it was great to see Deirdre behind the camera. But it was great to see what it's actually like in a blue room. So when we have our students in their blue rooms, their virtual classes, we go live with them every morning. Do you know that way? And we have the chats with them and we interact with them. And then throughout the day we interact with them on a one-to-one -one. now i was obviously interacting with them on a one-to-one -one in whatsapp today and they and were she, saying where they, is she they couldn't see me you know what i mean as i said and then i went home from work today and i eventually had a shower <laughs> so i don't smell too bad now no you're grand now so i'm grand okay so back to the flower arrangement right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use these white twigs and i'm going to come behind the lid kind of in the center i'm going to get an extra little bit of height here right i'm just looking for myself twig here at the bottom so I just want to cut that off just to make sure it's a nice kind of a clean stem going down into the flower garden. now again if anybody has any questions you know that way feel free like interact with me talk away to me you know that way keep me going yeah it's, it's all your away. questions that keep her keep her keep her active and um, do you know you might tell them a little bit about what's coming up on the 25th okay, of February yeah. so as you probably heard there a few minutes ago um, and I'm Tui and Tui, okay, who has a fabulous Facebook and an Instagram page, okay, called Room Junkie. So if somebody tags her there, she's based up in Donegal. Not anymore. She's, oh, she's not in Donegal No, anymore. she's living in Spain. That's what she's... Oh, right. Bitch. Oh, didn't know that. Okay, so she's living in Spain, the bitch. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> right, she used to be in Donegal. When, when we, the last time we met her, she was up in Donegal. And um, anyway... She runs some fabulous boot camps, okay? Especially for women, but I'm sure men can come to them as well. And it's women like ourselves, okay, who are midlife and beyond or before, and all about like health, well being, uh, mindfulness, uh, beauty, beauty, beauty care, uh, skin care, manifestation, journalism, uh, like basically everything. So on the 25th of February, so somebody might put the details, or Anne, what you do is put the link in the details in the comments there, okay? So on Saturday, the 25th of February, she's running a day, like basically a, like a ladies' day out, a women's day out, uh, mothers and daughters, sisters and brothers. I'm no sure brothers. Bro no, no well, unless they identify as a woman. Okay, so <laughs> identify as a she or a her or whatever, they're more than more than welcome, right? And it's up in Harvey Point in Donegal. So that's how I presume she was still up in Donegal. No, she says she is. She says she still has a base in Donegal. So she's between she, a bit she, like you. A bit like myself, Lanzarote and Dublin. And um, she invited, um, she must be hard up. She invited us two to come and um, have a little chat. You know, that way. What's our chat about? Um, she had a word for What was yeah. it called? Anyway, basically talking about how we have transformed... <laughs> everything our business. our business our business and ourselves and COVID and all the rest you know what i mean the, the the theme for the day is finding your fabulous okay so that's the theme of the day we would love if anybody is up around Donegal like Sligo wouldn't be too far no. you know that way maybe Derry's not too far away and um, what we're going to do we're traveling from Dublin we're going to stay the night and it's in that amazing hotel in Donegal which is called Harvey Point Harvey's, you know I mean? Harvey's Point Harvey's yeah. Point so again if somebody can tag them in the comments there or sure Anne is sitting on her arse in Spain probably she is she's actually put the link up she's put it up on Instagram at the moment so um and if you want to go over to facebook and throw it up over there as well and um, save us doing it or if you want to go to youtube and post it on youtube and um, save us going and doing it but yeah it's going to be a bit of crack now i'd say we'll be a bit of crack. we're looking for something to wear yeah has to be pink has, has to, to be, be pink. pink okay so we have these amazing orchids okay and like always with orchids even the white ones you get like that kind of whiny tongue on it so that was why in case anybody was wondering why did she go for the wine large carnations it was to pick up like the wine um tongue on the purpley kind of tongue on the orchid okay so what i'm going to do is stand a stem of these coming down in between the twigs okay they are beautiful we, we aren't are they? coming into orchid season so you're going to find the orchids are readily available 
Um, they'll almost be expensive, but a bit, they're a bit cheaper at this time of the year. You know the way, because as I said, they're in season. Uh, so perfect, going to perfect Patties by Angela King says, well, lucky girl, Harry's point is gorgeous. Angela, come over to yeah, us. Yeah, come over to us. You owe us a few drinks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. You know, the, you know all these drinks that you used to promise us, ah, oh, Jeanette, when we meet you, you yeah. always ask me to do you a favour and you say, much do I owe? And I say, you owe me a gin and tonic. You know, like, <laughs> I think now I'm well owed a good few gin and tonics, so come over, Angela, be brilliant. It'd be a brilliant day. So there you go, where I've just added in like a second stem of orchids, just stacked down that little bit lower. And then I'm going to add a third orchid and I'm just going to cut um, in a little bit shorter. Now you will find with orchids, okay, when you cut off the little side heads, you know what I mean, that you have like a decent stem to stick down into floral foam. The, the shorter little heads are not great to get into floral foam because what you'll find is that they, um, they're too soft, you know that way, and kind of too brittle. But sometimes they will do for inserting in around the bottom of your arrangement. Or a little trick what you can do is you can get your single orchid head, get a wire, insert the wire up into just the bottom of the stem, like not all the way up into it. Cocktail stick will do the same job. Cut the stem a little bit shorter, okay? But make sure that the flower goes into the floral foam as well, like not just actual wire so I've just kind of stuck that one in can you see just down there low so again if I had like say a couple of these little single heads that I just trimmed off get your wire stick it up inside the stem cut the wire off again leave a little bit of the wire sticking out but when you stick it into the foam make sure the stem kind of goes in a little bit as well just so that it kind of um that it gets that it can drink water that it can absorb the water and again these would be kind of great like uh, these odd little heads for kind of sticking around the back of the arrangement or if you were on our bridal class, on our module three class, these are fabulous for making flower crowns out of. Or like all our students that are on module three with us at the moment, they're actually going to be getting some amazing orchids sent out to them this weekend as part of their delivery. And what they're going to learn how to make is a teardrop, or some people would call it a shower cascading. So a teardrop shower cascading wedding bouquet is what they're going to learn how to make using up the stems of orchids that we send out to them. So I think they're getting four stems or whatever. Oh, two so stems. Yeah, yeah two long order. ones. I think I so got them, So this is yeah. what, how we are so far, okay? And again, you can add in more orchids if you want to. So now what I'm going to do is out to one side, I'm going to add in some of the fascia leaves, okay? So again, I'm starting kind of back here, kind of our bigger fascia leaf. And then I'm going to work kind of to our more medium. I probably won't need all the ones that I have here today. And just kind of like layering kind of a few of them, just to give us a little bit of foliage there coming out to one side. And it's a great way of kind of covering any of the mechanics in the arrangement as well. And as I come forward, I'm using up some of the smaller ones. So gradually, like, you know what I mean, kind of like layering them, large, medium, a bit smaller, a bit smaller, and so on, as I work kind of towards the front of the arrangement. But I'm not going to add in too many because you can see the orchids are giving me good coverage. And that last fatsy, as I inserted it, I kind of curved it, you know what I mean, where the wire, I was able to manoeuvre it around. And like even this little small one here, just to kind of show you, do you Mac? Okay, we got our scissors, cut it a little bit shorter. I'm just going to stick it in the front, kind of in under the orchids. So I'm going to stick it in, I'll just turn it around to you there. And then you see the way I can manoeuvre it because it has the wire inside. I just need to turn around and look at what I'm doing there. But hopefully I've kind of got that curved shape I have, yeah. So do you see the way with the wire? That is the whole idea of using the wire. Obviously you don't have to use the wire if you, if you prefer not to. So now what I'm going to add in is a couple of our flax leaves. So again, what I'm going to do is kind of cut them into a point at the bottom and that way then they'll insert down into the floral foam. And again, I'm working kind of behind the lid of the box, again, just to kind of give you an idea. And I'm going to kind of like, just gradually kind of put them in, but add them in at kind of like different lengths, you know, that way, just to kind of give it an effect. But also I'm going to point some of the leaves facing my way, do you know what I mean, that if somebody's looking at the back of this arrangement, because you see the way I brought some of the orchids in at the back, you know what I mean, that again, I'm going to have a little bit of effect, you know the way, coming out there. So adding a few more kind of to the front, and then obviously a few more to the back. Now again, you can use your um, cordyline leaves, if that's what you prefer, right? So we'll just add in another few of these. Jeanette Annabelle yeah. wants to know, she says, she's getting paid on Friday, and she wants to book the spring course and um, where can she book it? Okay, so you better tell me where the link is. Is it in the blog or? No, it's on the hobby page on the oh, website. Okay, sorry there. So on the hobby page on our website. So go to our website, www.caseflareschool.com. I seen Celine the other night when somebody asked about it. She actually tagged it for me, you know that way. So maybe somebody is watching there tonight and they might actually put the link up, you know that way, 
far as it'd be brilliant i'd really really appreciate it and um, so that's going to be another fun day out so when you've done Donegal on the 25th of february you can come to temple oak in dublin and it's on saturday the 4th of march okay guaranteed to be a great day so anybody that wants to come you know that way it'll be everything is going to be supplied you're going to be working in fresh flowers and again it would make ideal present for valentine's day or mother's day and um, i know it'll be before mother's day mother's day is not till around the 19th of march i think you know that way but again it'll be something nice you know what i mean just to have um a nice gift to somebody so you'll get the link for that on the website under um hobby classes there you go um, and actually somebody just asked again what was the date of the donegal day so the 25th of february i'm presuming anne is putting the link in the comments there do you know that way so anne if you're watching if you can put the link for that Johnny Gall show, showing your fabulous, or what's it? Um, what's it? Finding your fabulous. Finding, your, finding fabulous. your fabulous. So finding your fabulous is the theme of the day. So what I'm just doing here in the front is adding in a couple of little bits of Ruskus. I'll take out one of these. I'm not really mad about all of them there at that side there. Yeah, and I'll take out the one in the middle there. That's it. This one? Yeah, that one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, go. yeah. Um, so I'm just going to add in a few little short little bits of the Ruskus foliage. So you will find everything in this arrangement is going to last for ages. Where large carnations are one of the best lasting flowers that you can buy. Orchids are amazing for lasting. Do you know that way? Like they even last out of water. The Fatsia is, la is a great lasting one. So is the Cordyline and so is the Ruskus. So everything here. So once it's kept nicely watered, do you know that way? Again, it would make a lovely gift for somebody. Now in when... Uh, what's her name? O'Neill's sent out the um, the half boxes. They also sent out some Valentine accessories, which I'll show you another day, okay? But one of the accessories were these little hearts. So you're at the moving them on me there, dear. Oh, I did. Sorry. So were these little hearts, okay? And Selena's on. Selena's on. Selena, missing you there all night for the tag. And where the feck were you? <laughs> so these are the little hearts that they have, you know, that way up in O'Neill's. And they would be brilliant for stepping down into your hand tied bouquets, like your bouquets of roses, whatever, for Valentine's Day. Or again, to be honest, any time of the year, like not just Valentine's Day. But they did have them in other colours, okay? So they had them in, I've, I've, I've used up two of these already. But they had them in this kind of like pinky shade, and I'm nearly sure they were in another shade as well. Now, she has down here that they're four for five euros, okay? But there was only three in the bunch, so I'm not sure if she made a mistake. So you have to just double check that. So again, that's all those flowers. So when I was organising the arrangement earlier on, um, I, had, I was looking for a white spray, and I hadn't got white spray, but I had a pale pink spray. So what I did was I got one of the hearts, and I just sprayed it, you see, pale pink. But there wasn't a huge difference in it. And I said to Deirdre, Jeannie Mac, I'm raging I hadn't got navy spray. And she says, are you sure? She said, look in the back of the box. And I looked in the back of the box, I did find a royal blue spray. So it just shows you that if you bought these hearts, you know that way, you could spray them any colour. And again, they're the... That's an Oasis spray, but that's a little or an Aldi spray. So again, you'll get them like in some of the walk around shops sell them as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it short and my wine ball in the front, okay? I'm just going to put my little heart down into the floral foam. And it's, again, it's just to kind of like pick up the navy, do you see, in the arrangement. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a navy bow. So I have kind of this satin ribbon. It's actually more taffeta ribbon. And it just is a pure fluke. There's a little gold edge on it. Because these boxes had a tiny little, like not Christmas gold, but just a tiny little gold theme on it. So this is a bow I probably haven't shown, I don't think, on any of my lives. I often demonstrate just push it on the flares to the wood, side for me, yeah. But again, it's not a very popular bow, right? So watch carefully. I'm going to leave a strip at the beginning. I fancy off the end of that soon. And I'm going to make a loop for myself. I'm now going to make a second loop, okay? And it's like I'm kind of like making a V shape, okay? With my two loops. And then in the middle of the V, I'm going to come up and I'm going to make a third loop. Can you see that sort of effect, right? And then I'm going to fold up the tail that's left over. And I'm going to fold up the tail that's in the front. There is a slow motion video of that on our blog page. Yeah, and yeah, actually yeah, okay? yeah, it's both, not yeah. using this ribbon, but it's the same idea. So now where all the folds are, I'm increasing this then really tight. I'm going to place it into my left hand. I'm going to get a wire. I'm going to make what we call our hairpin bend. 
I'm going to rest it on the ends. As I said, it's done in slow motion, okay, over on our blog page. I'm going to wrap the wire around the ends, you know what I mean, a couple of times just to make sure it's nice and secure. I'm going to cut off the ribbon here. There we go. I'll cut off the ends in a second. I'm going to use my finger and my thumb, and I'm going to place it in between the loops, you see, to kind of like stretch them out to make them kind of sit nicely. And then my two little tails, I'm going to do the little dovetail cut up into them. So fold it over and do that sharp 45 degree cut up into the centre, you see, to get that nice little V. And again, it's another way of bringing the navy into the arrangement, you know what I mean, to incorporate it. And what I'm going to do to the end of the wire, because if you just stick the wire in on its own, it'll move, where if you make a little hook at the end of the wire, it'll help to kind of secure it. And again, just down low, under one of the, the bottom orchids there, under the ball of flowers, okay? I'm just going to place that little uh, loop, and again, just let our little tails kind of like hang down. So it's just to kind of like incorporate a little bit more of the navy into the range. That's so, actually lovely, this. That was our simple enough class tonight. You know, that way we used nearly three stems of orchids, so two and a half stems of orchids. Okay, which are in season and you will be able to buy them from your local flower shop. But again, some of the wholesalers that I mentioned there earlier on would also have them for sale. So O'Neill's Flowers of Carlingford and wholesaleflowers.ie in Sandyford, Dublin, both of them would sell the orchids. The hat boxes, them particular ones, and they come in lots of different colours, they were from O'Neill'sFlowers.ie. And they're based in Carlingford. It was a set of three. I used the larger box. There's a smaller and medium one. And they come in a full range of colours. I can't remember them all. But pale pink, pale blue, red, yellow. Can't remember. The low green. So uh, yellow. I mentioned all the occasions earlier on in our video. The flax leaves are from the garden. The fatty leaves are from the garden. The, I, the, the ruskis, we bought it in, okay? But as I said, you can buy them from Irish Green Guys. You can buy it from your local flower shop. And we're looking for garden centres source selling them as a plant. Because I really feel they are going to be something that will be very popular. Flowers are going to be using them. You followers, flower arrangers, you're going to be using them. So if you could grow your own, it'd be brilliant. So any garden centres that's watching, keep us Or any posted. flower farmers that are watching. Yeah. I actually yeah. saw, um, I think it was Alexandra Flowers was on earlier on down in Wex. I remember the girl I called up to yeah. um, in Courtown in around that area. So yeah, flower farmers, if, if there's any... If you're selling them either as a plant or even if you're selling as a cut foliage, or even if you have the New Zealand flax or euphorbiums for sale, or if you have the fasti leaves for sale, advertise yourself. We're always about collaboration, not competition. So feel free there, any garden centres, wholesalers, flower farmers, or even flower shops, advertise in the comments below there. Put up your link and tell us what you sell, because when somebody's reading down through it, they can then contact you. Emma says that she saw Fatsy Leaves in Tesco's there recently. Uh, Room Junkie says, thank you both so much. The, all roads lead to Donegal. Can't wait to see us. I will Guys, tell you what my husband says about Donegal. <laughs> now, he's from Sligo, okay, but he's now living in Dublin. But I remember years and years ago, I bought a car and it was a Donegal Red. But it was the time when, you know the way now you know it, it's a DL or it's a D for Dublin or K for Kildare. But it was at the time, like the old fashioned ways of doing um, registration numbers. And for some reason, anyway, I think all the all coachy fellas know registration numbers. And he said to me, that's a Johnny Gall car you're after buying. And he says, the only good thing that ever came, now don't take, this is a joke, okay? So don't get upset. He said, the only good thing that ever came at Johnny Gall was the road to Dublin. <laughs> Sorry, well, I Anne. have to say, Sorry, I was up in Donegal last summer and it was absolutely oh, it it's amazing. amazing. And we've place. been up to Harry's Point. We've been in Harry's Point before we have, and it's an amazing hotel. It's in the middle of nowhere. The food is just the staff. It was the staff. Really. It was the staff, the yeah. The staff was the nicest oh, the staff I ever met. Jesus, breakfast. I could have had breakfast all and day. They really buttered the bread for you. You know that you know that type, real mammy sort of staff. You know the way they were absolutely brilliant. Um, yeah. Anybody that is interested, and we will talk about Donegal near to the time as we decide what we're going to talk about find decide something to wear and um, go over to room junkie on instagram or room junkie over on facebook and um, go follow her because Anne is putting up all the information and the links there as well about it and um, fancy plants in silver sussex in green in, in silver sussex in greenpeace nursery in ballonhasic in county cork she bought them there last week so there you go uh, ballonhasic you can get the link if you can put a website address or a link to your Facebook page or a phone number or an email address it just makes 
it easy because you know what happens everybody will start asking where are they what's the address what's the phone number so if you could make a really easy if you know any of the details add it in there in the comments um, or alternatively go over to the flurry fun group and post it up there or tag them and tell them to go over and post it up there and um, people are always looking to buy silver sussex plants anyway definitely they're really called sussex silver that's true they are okay flower school calls them silver sussex so if you go into a garden center they know you're a case school follower and they'll probably give you a discount yeah true <laughs> okay um i'm just going to say that this is actually an ideal arrangement for a hotel isn't it a wood, yeah and like our module four will be starting on the 15th of february the day after valentine's day and for anybody that wants to specialize in like hotel large floral structures wedding and event decoration church decoration phone free arrangements like really large structures like moon gates and arches and candelabras and topiary trees and table garlands suspended yeah. garlands and um I, I mean the list is endless okay we cover all of that on module four and again if you are living in ireland and you're working there is a 25 percent skill net grant I think it's worth 300 euros, okay? So it's a 300 euros discount off that particular module if you book it through skill nets. If you're on social welfare, and that doesn't mean that you're claiming job seekers, like any social welfare payment. So it could be carers allowance, um, disability allowance, as a week ago we called it the one-legged allowance, yeah. any allowance, okay? If you're on any sort of you social may be welfare entitled to it. you might be entitled to a thousand euros, okay? So again, drop us an email at info at caseblairschool.com and we can drop you the information or go to our website with a special funding button on the website, www.caseflowerskill.com and you get Scroll all Scroll to the end of the page and you'll find the funding Anybody button. in the UK, you'll get the information on UK grants also on the same page. Yeah, that's it. Okay, love yous and leave yous, everybody. Thanks a million for joining. We really would appreciate if you clicked share. If you're watching this on the replay, you can still click share, okay? And again, comment and interact with us. Let us know, did you like it? Did you not like it? Um, I think there might be somebody over on YouTube that didn't really like it. Oh, right. They commented about 30 or 40 times to that say they like that it. they didn't really oh, like right. it. But she didn't know. That's you know life. She's their everybody. Yeah, they probably are out in Tato, Biz, Tato um, Fun Park. There's always one. <laughs> um, Anne Room Junkie says Donegal Noel who I think either manages or owns um, Harvey's Points advised me guest Your speakers man the telly. oh is that who it is yeah. uh, guest speakers who are good fun at the end of the day to raise the energy she says I hit gold with you well you don't know if Jeanette's in the humour she's in today <laughs> <laughs> everything went wrong for me today everything went wrong but listen I'll be back on track again for the 25th of February yeah okay everybody love yous and leave yous thanks a million click share and go and follow all the people that we mentioned there tonight and again if you have any questions put them in the comments I'll definitely check in tomorrow and I'll respond to everybody so goodbye good night have a lovely evening talk to you all soon